Hey folks, and welcome to Greg's Golf Shack. Should you be using iron head covers on your golf clubs? It's a contentious debate. Some people are like, no way. Other folks are cool with it. Today, I'm gonna to share with you why, yes, I think you should use iron head covers, and we're also gonna have a giveaway of some of these cool iron head covers from Craftsman Golf, so let's dive in. Now, folks, I encourage you to leave a comment below and share your views of whether you should or shouldn't use iron head covers. And if you're a non-believer, I'm looking for a valid reason to convince me otherwise but I don't think you will. And it all starts with why not iron head covers? If we're comfortable putting head covers on our drivers, on our fairway woods, on our hybrids, on our putter, if we're gonna put it on all our clubs, why not put them on our irons? Now people might suggest, well, the irons are strong steel. They're not gonna take as much damage as the sensitive and delicate other clubs in my bag. But I would argue that the face of the irons are what we want to protect the most. We usually have some milled texture on there. We have these grooves on both our irons and our wedges. And when those elements wear down, that's what determines when it's time to get some new clubs. These grooves and that face texture interact with the ball to give us good control and desired spin to be able to hit good shots and play good golf. Now it's one thing, those are gonna get worn down a little bit, just hitting the ground, hitting the ball, the odd rock might get there and stuff. But if the irons are bouncing off each other in your bag and rubbing that face, you're gonna wear those down a lot sooner. Forged clubs can dent and warp a little bit easier. The cast clubs can chip away. It can do some damage, so why not protect it? What's one way we can protect that? An iron head cover. I mean, golf clubs are expensive these days. A new set of name brand irons is like $1,500. Why don't we wanna protect them? And without that head cover, whether you're walking and carrying your clubs, using a push cart or driving around in a cart, you hear that noise? That's the sound of those clubs bouncing off each other, rubbing down that face, ruining your club. And that brings me to reason number two why iron head covers are good. Are you the person annoying everybody on the golf course for four hours with that clickety clacky sound? Are you Mr. Clickety Clack? No one will fix that, iron head covers. There we go. Now I can enjoy that natural sound of the indoor ambience. And while we're talking about protecting clubs, another reason iron head covers are good is because if you have a shorter head cover for your driver, your fairway woods or something that doesn't protect the shaft all the way down to the bag, if those irons weren't covered, they would be hitting that shaft, scratching it, nicking it. That could end up hundreds of dollars to replace a shaft in one of your other clubs. Iron head covers can prevent that from happening. Now I know some folks are gonna say it all depends on where you put the clubs in your bag to protect the shaft or not, but our bag is not always upright. Sometimes it falls over. If you're in a cart, I mean, honestly, how many people take off your driver and fairway wood head covers and throw them in the basket and just let all your clubs jiggle around in the back of a cart? Let's take care of our clubs. Now one argument folks might have is pace of play. It can take a long time to put all those iron and wedge head covers on. Again, I come back to, it doesn't stop you from using head covers on all your other clubs. And honestly, done. That did not take very long. Now another thing people might consider is if my club is wet and I'm putting it in that head cover, it's gonna get rusty or something. The same applies to all your other clubs that you use head covers for. And you know, this comes down to practicing good maintenance of your clubs. If you're out when it's raining and it's wet and you're putting your head covers on and off, when you get home, you should be taking those head covers off, drying your clubs, drying off your head covers. Just That's just basic maintenance to take care of your equipment. It has nothing to do of whether you should or shouldn't use an iron head cover. Now another reason why we can use iron head covers, they just look cool. This particular head cover from Craftsman Golf is really nice embroidery, a nice design on the numbers there that change color in the different light. In the sunlight, that's gonna look really sharp and it's well padded. It's gonna really protect the irons well and I really like the fact that there's a little magnetic clasp in there so you don't have to listen to Velcro or anything. And you can see it pops on really easy, really quick and that's gonna take care of your club take care of you. 
Now, Craftsman Golf has all kinds of different head covers over on their website and different styles of iron head covers. I'm going to include a link down below that'll give you a discount of 10% site-wide, and you can use code GGS to save some money. And that's not all. We are going to be giving away a set of these iron head covers over on my Instagram channel. I'm going to include a link to the post where the giveaway is happening. All you need to do is make sure you are following me on Instagram. You're following Craftsman Golf on Instagram. You like that post and leave a comment to tell us that you're interested in the giveaway. Folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe. Leave some comments about your thoughts of using iron head covers. And we'll see you next time on Greg's Golf Shack.